cards people have been signing and filling out. There are probably another 50 people who have either come from meetings or in meetings or are coming later tonight. So um, when you're meeting on behalf of your district, you're meeting in many cases on behalf of the Maryland Sierra Club and the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, the Chesapeake Climate Action Network. So we want to encourage you to take ownership over that so that when you're going in, you're, you are not actually an individual. As representative of the environmental community, you're speaking on behalf of our, I think, 100,000 plus members in Maryland. I don't know the number, but it's really big. Um, and we just wanted to thank you for that. Thank you for taking the time, and uh, thanks for being part of the community, and thanks for filling out those little comments sheets so we know how the meeting starts. Have a great day. Josh, one thing I, I forgot to, to uh, mention is that those we're going to have um, people stationed in the various buildings by the elevator that will know where these people are, where the people you're supposed to have, uh, uh, will know where their offices are and what time they'll have a meeting scheduled. So um, look for those folks. We were going to have stickers, but the stickers haven't arrived yet. So um, <laughs> hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll, see we'll have the stickers. Yeah. Yeah. They're standing in one place looking confident. So, right. yeah. uh, we're and, asking when you see, frankly, if you can't find right yeah. yeah. And the report forms, leave them with those people. As you leave, just hand them to those people and they'll collect them. If you don't get them to us, there's a fax number on the bottom of the report form that you can fax it back to us. Thanks. Hi, everybody. Again, thank you for coming out. Um, I really, really appreciate whatever it took to get you all here. Um, for those of us that live these days in the halls of Annapolis, we sometimes forget just how hard it is to get here. Uh, given my wild ways down from the office to get here on time, I was like, oh yeah, this is a, a really bad time to try to get here. So thank you. Um, I'm going to just go over some lobbying 101, specifically lobbying 101, um, just to give you all some confidence. Looking around, I see many of you have done it before. Uh, we can ask a couple questions and ideas so that you're all set to go out. Um, but I want to begin with very, very important. The first thing that you do when you meet your legislator is thank them for the time. Uh, these guys really have a thankless task. None of us ever get thanked enough. Um, and starting off by thanking them is really, really important. It's a very, very busy time of year for them. Monday nights are very complicated times. They're often trying to do their regular job, a whole week's worth of regular job on Monday then right down here to the 8 o'clock session and meet with constituents and do work groups and everything else that they do. So um, start off by getting in a good favor by thanking them. Um, your job today is to put the faith on the issue, putting um, something before them so that when the bill finally comes up to, and maybe it may come up this week, it may come up in two weeks, maybe in three weeks, uh, it may be more weeks beyond that before it comes up before, we want them to remember your bright, shining, good-looking faces um, on this bill and the stories that you're bringing to them. We go to them and we present this crap, ma'am. You know, we're there presenting it from that friend's perspective or our organization's perspective, but as you as constituents are putting the local, I'm your voter, I care about this because that's not what I can Use those four key facts on any issue better than anybody. Um, 
Um, and when I need to go deeper than that, I know the experts I need to bring in. You all don't need to be the experts that you be either. You just need to be making sure that they know the issues that you're working on are important to you and why. And when the legislator starts to go down into the weeds on an issue, ask complicated, well, what about this tier three? Only a few. When I'm 